Well, if you have a Christian television set, then uh, you will have noticed on some of the channels they've got some notices about changing the transponder or the frequency uh, on your set-top box so that you can draw down um, different channels very soon. They hope to be able to broadcast in higher definition and if you've got a high definition set-top box you'll get much clearer pictures. But in any case on Monday the 20th of August uh, the, the Trinity TVN channel as you knew it will not no longer exist. You have to scan down uh, a new transponder, put a new transponder on your set-top box and scan down the new channels. What we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at a YES set-top box, a DVB S2500 PVR and uh, if you've got one of these well then watch carefully and I'll teach you how you can put in the new transponder. First of all you get your um, remote control and on the remote control you look for the button called um, uh, menu which is just there onto the right hand side of the OK button and you press o menu and this is what will come up a menu to change some figures so we're going to go into installation if you use the up and down buttons you can shift the highlight to wherever you like but we want to go in here to installation press OK and here you'll see uh, different things up there you can highlight up and down with that scrolling button but I want you to go to the um, satellite list no, no the TP list that's where we need to go into TP list and here is where we have a list of transponders now the current one that is bringing a lot of the Christian television sets in is that number one which is 12644 so I want you to press the yellow button on the bottom of the remote controller's yellow button and, and as you can see from the screen if you press the yellow button you're going to delete whatever's highlighted. So we're going to delete that, press the yellow button, and OK do you want it and then we're going to scroll across to make sure OK is there and then press OK. And as you see number one has now changed. It then says on the bottom of the screen that if you press the green button that's the green button on the remote you will be able to add a new one so we we'll press that and now we've got a new one this is where you punch in using the numbers on the uh, remote punch in one two five one nine then press OK no, you, nothing happens scroll down and the symbol rate is twenty two thousand five hundred zero zero punched in using the remote the polarity is vertical and then you go down to the FTA only you say yes to that you can use the scroll button and get no but you want a free to air that means you're not paying for any of the channels just the free ones now we go down to the search highlight search and press OK and there we go, it's starting to search, bringing in all the new channels and that's over. So now we exit that part of the menu, exit that part, exit that part, now go up to channel, highlight the channel part of the menu, press the channel list, highlight that and press it. Now this is where we can sort and move and edit some of these channels. Um, let me see, we want to actually delete a few, so I'm going to press yellow, it needs a password, one, two, three, four zeros. Now we can edit. Delete is the red button on the bottom of your remote, um, so I'm going to delete those useless channels. Delete one press red button again and you see how I put a little red X in next to it so um, I'm going to take it up now to all of these that are useless press the red button the red button again and so we go up the scale pressing the red button twice on all those channels you do not want we'll leave that one there this one's 
a foreign language, keep going up, keeping all the ones you do want. Uh, inspiration is fun. Daystar, God TV, keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them. They're all keepers. Two on that. This one, um, a small AON is probably two red presses on that one too. Three ABNs okay, hopes okay. Keep going up. Oh, something you want to miss there, but anyhow, we're right. Uh, Daystar, God TV, Church TV, Jason, these are all good, keep all them. I think we've gone round the whole lot now. Now when we exit, it'll ask us if we want to save it. Press the exit button. Are you sure to save? We go across, yes. Now we've got everything out that we want out, we think. Well, we're going to do some moving. We're going to go down and grab TBN and press the red button, move it. Press the red button again, take it up to number one, and press OK. Now come down and get Daystar, just if I press the red button, red button again, take it up to number two, and press OK. Now we're going to get Church Channel, press the red button, and red button again, move it up there to number three. Press OK. Go and get God TV. Red, red, up, using that button above the OK button to get it into position 4. Press OK. Now go and get on Inspiration. Red, red. Take it up to number 5. Press OK. Now number 6 is SBN. Red, red, up to number six, press OK. Now I've left seven as Hope Channel, which is the Seventh Day Adventist, and three ABN, leave that there. Now go and get Youth Channel, red, red. Move it up to number nine, press OK. Uh, go and get the Catholic Channel, press the red button and the red button again, and go up to number 10. Press OK. Go down there and see what's left. AON, red, red. Take that up to 11. Press OK. Now these Press Russia and NHK channels are English speaking news channels but they're not Christian so we leave them right at the bottom of the list. OK. Well now we've done all the editing we can now come out of there and save it with an OK and exit out of there and exit out of there. Now we've got everything we want. When we go to channel 1, um, we've got TBN. Um, it's, oh, it's muted, so we go keep going. 2, Daystar, 3, Church TV. So everything's set, and we haven't got the red line underneath us anymore telling us to make changes, because we've made the changes, put in a new transponder, and hopefully we'll have enjoyable television viewing for many moons ahead. God bless you now.